I'm here to tell you about EndNote, which is bibliographic management software, which will store your citations for you. Um, it will actually import the citations from a database into EndNote, hang on to them for you. You can group them in different groups for different classes and paper topics, um, or look at them all together. And it will actually work with Microsoft Word to insert the citations into your paper. Just basically make that whole process easier. Um, if you look over here on the right, you can see that right now we're looking at the Journal of Mammalogy citation style, but I can easily change that to MLA style and watch that change. I can change that to the style for the Organic Letters Journal. I can change that to Vancouver style, and you can see that the software is doing that for me. When you're searching in a database, you can go in and do a search, find a particular <coughs> record that you like, go to Citation Abstract, look for a link that says Export in the database. We'll select EndNote. It will connect to EndNote. You download, just keep clicking continue, yes, okay, whatever. Open it. And it automatically imported that record from the database into EndNote. So I can don't have to write all that down and I can continue searching for other records. After I have been doing some research for a while and I'm writing my paper, I can actually click in the paper while I'm writing it to where I want a citation to be. I can insert the citation. Let's say I know the author is Smith that I want. Select Smith's paper, click insert, and it will insert where I had my cursor in the appropriate citation format. So right now it's formatted in the paper for the Journal of Science Crystal Growth, but let's say I want it to be MLA style, so I can go down and select MLA style, and it will appear in that particular format as appropriate. It is also creating the citation bibliography at the end of the paper for me and it will again reformat that as appropriate according to the citation style I need. I do not have to manually reformat that. Notice how easy that is. Cite, um, EndNote is free through Indiana State University. We have a site license for you to download and install it for free what, what, a lot with Indiana State University. If you had to buy it, it would be about $100. Go to Research Help and EndNote Download. This is the link for the PC version, and we also have the Mac version too. Follow the instructions to download and install, or you might get an error and contact us. It can take a little time to learn how to use EndNote, so we do have some help for you. We have a library guide for EndNote, which you can click writing, and then the EndNote and Bibliographic Management Software Library Guide. This includes links to the online manual, an online user guide that will walk you through some getting started guide, excuse me, will walk you through how to um, do the basics with EndNote. Um, there are EndNote YouTube videos that will also demonstrate how to do various um, features of EndNote. In addition, we are offering workshops in the next two weeks directly then and you cannot or do not wish to attend the workshop then I would be happy to email you the worksheet that I'll be using in the workshop so that you can go through that yourself um, you if you need help again it takes a little time to learn the software you're welcome to contact the reference desk with questions 
um, or contact me directly and we will help you get used to this and learn how to use it. We'd be happy to sit down and talk to you one on one as well. Um, so if you'd like, we will do our best to help you.